first off, uh, nothing but congratulations to uh, you know Coach Snyder and the Wildcats. I mean, Coach Snyder, he's not only is he one of the most respected coaches uh, in college football history, he's one of the best. I mean, you know, you've seen what he's done with that program. When he first got there, turned one of the worst programs uh, in of all time around. Leaves program dips a little bit. He comes back. Look where they are now. Um, there's a reason uh, those guys buy into him, uh, and nothing but respect for him and that and that group of guys over there at Kansas State. And they've beaten us five years in a row. I mean, it's even when we're good and they're bad, it doesn't matter. They always beat us. And of course, today it wasn't surprised that they beat us today. From the Texas side, I'm not, I'm not going to try to do the whole season-long thing of what this means for us, whatever, but just to focus today, you know, first half, couldn't really expect much more from Texas, up 10-7 going into the half. We left points on the board. Um, playing well, uh, wondering why that kind of effort and execution was going on against C- TCU. But in the second half, I mean, K- KSU, they've got more seniors, they got more talent, had more to play for. And uh, they came out and Colin Klein and that group, uh, just wore Texas down. You know, we we responded after that first touch after their first touchdown in the third quarter. After that, couldn't get any traction. After that, there's there was no way that our offense was going to keep up with their offense because our defense has been struggling all year, as we know. KSU's defense is really good, so that that was a mismatch right there. So, uh, congrats to the Wildcats and all of them. Uh, for Texas, you know, with Case McCoy, you know, Case's first pass that pick should have been a pick six due to the ball. Whatever happened with that. Um, but he had a pretty efficient night for the most part. Um, but you still kind of saw those mistakes at the end. But like I said, it wasn't Case's fault. It wasn't, I mean, what you see from Texas is there's a lot of talent, especially speed in the backfield and on the outside. Um, but just can't put it all together for one game. Can't, just can't put it all, get all together for a whole couple of series, really. Uh, and really can't beat these really good teams, which is what the Wildcats are. So Texas right now, though, uh, that's our fourth loss in conference. But more than likely, unless there's something weird with Northern Illinois or something like that, um, we're going to the Cotton Bowl. And uh, and like I said, that could change depending on where things fall. But as of right now, it looks like the Horns will go to the Cotton Bowl, either play a Georgia or an LSU or possibly an A&M, though I don't think that's going to happen because of the powers that be. But, uh, yeah, so (laughs) that's probably what's going to happen, and that's probably not going to be good for Texas. Um, But, I mean, I guess it's... Going to a Cotton Bowl, for some people may think, oh, okay, that's and, you know if you told me before the season started, hey Texas is going to the Cotton Bowl, I would have taken that. But if you watch the way the season panned out and how it really just didn't feel like we got any better, and that's what I wanted to see this season was, I wanted to see the team progressively get better. We looked pretty good up into West Virginia. We played well against West Virginia. Thought West Virginia was good. I was at that game. Lost that game. Was okay with that. Um, the Oklahoma game. I'm still never gonna get over that. Um, but then played bad against Kansas, played poorly against uh, Baylor, but won those games. Went into Lubbock, got a good win against Texas Tech. We clowned Iowa State, thinking, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're finding what we are. We're finding an identity. Then TCU comes into Austin and just, just punches us in the throat and then run into Kansas State, and Kansas State does what Kansas State does. So congrats, KSU, Big 12 champs. Y'all deserve it. I guess the silver lining is, I guess since we lost, OU doesn't win it, although I'm – I'm not an Aggie, so I'm not gonna get too much uh, too happy about that. But that that is what it is. So uh, OU still gonna go to a BCS more than likely, unless that weird Northern Illinois thing goes down. So we'll see all that tomorrow night. Um, but that's all I got to say about this. Uh, Horns played hard; they're just not good enough. Uh, Kansas State, you guys deserved it. Y'all were the best team in the Big Twelve, and y'all y'all proved over the season. So hook 'em Horns, Texas fight, and congrats Wildcats.